Well, the cold has come to Wall Street today, but you would not think that to look at the markets. The S&P 500 was up for the day, virtually at an all-time record, and that was despite a fresh leg down for the oil price. Brent is below $78 per barrel now. WTI is below $75 per barrel. Why? That was counteracted, first of all, by some deal news, always good for, uh, for share prices. And secondly, uh, the market really liked the earnings from Walmart, which is the uh, strongest gainer for the day. To put uh, Walmart, the world's biggest retailer, into perspective, let's take a look at this chart, which starts in October 2007 when the S&P 500 peaked ahead of the great financial crisis. Walmart was one of the very few stocks that was actually higher uh, by the time the market troughed in March 2009 than it had been uh, at the previous peak. You can see that it's been very much horizontal recently uh, and analysts are obviously delighted by signs that uh, Walmart is getting its act together and that the US consumer is getting its act together. Now there are some possibilities for excitement before the week is out. We have macroeconomic data coming out of the Eurozone including the critical variables of inflation and GDP growth. To put those into context for you, let's take a look at what those numbers have done since the euro was created in 1999. You can see we've already had a double dip in terms of uh, growth, with obviously some risk uh, that we're heading for a third dip. Meanwhile, uh, inflation is falling quite menacingly if you're worried about deflation. If we see both those lines fall significantly, that could have quite an impact on sentiment. There is also a wild card coming out of Japan. Many people think that Shinzo Abe is going to call a snap election there. Obviously there's political uncertainty, but as markets tend to like Shinzo Abe and people believe that he would win if he held that election and strengthen his political capital, that would probably be a net positive if it happened. Either way, there is some risk of some more excitement before this rather chilly week is over.